For the last mini video, we are going to do a glassware phylogenetic tree. Here is the word bank that we'll be drawing from. Anagenesis, cladogenesis, OTUs, rooted tree, internal nodes, most recent common ancestor, and outgroup. We'll see cladogenesis below, which is the formation of new species as a result of branching. OTUs are operational taxonomic units, which are closely related groups of species. We'll also see most recent common ancestors, which are the most recent species before cladogenesis. We will also see how the outgroup interacts with the phylogenetic tree, or rather does not. You'll see that the margarita and martini glasses are on the top of the phylogenetic tree, making them the most closely related. Next are the red wine glasses and champagne glasses. All four of these are somewhat related, which puts them at the top of the phylogenetic tree together, but have different branches because of the shape of the top of their glasses. Then the stemless wine glass is the most unrelated in the group of the five because it does not have a stem. The bottom part of our phylogenetic tree has beer glass, highball glass, and shot glass. All of these are not rounded, they don't have a stem, which keeps them related, but the shot glass is the smallest, which makes it the most unrelated, and beer glass and highball glass are the most similar, which is why they are grouped together. In our phylogenetic tree, we can see cladogenesis, which is the formation of a new species as a result of branching. We also see operational taxonomic units, like the martini and margarita glasses. We also see internal nodes, where each of these separate and the most recent common ancestors from those nodes.